okay so hello friends today our topic is the gram staining okay so this is done for the staining of gram positive and gram negative bacteria it was discovered by it was discovered by hans christian gram okay uh, now first uh, see the procedures and then we will discuss the mechanism so first one is the fixation so first you have to heat the smear and dry it and heat fixed next is step one that is the primary stain here you will add the crystal violet or methyl violet for one minute next it is mordant so intense the staining we will use gram iodine for one minute then rinse with the tap water next step three is decolorizer we will add acetone or ethanol or acetone alcohol combination timing is there then uh, rinse with the tap water after the completion of time rinse with the tap water step four there is the counter staining that is saffronin or diluted carbofuxin for 30 seconds rinse with tap water and your smear is ready now come to the mechanism so there are two mechanisms first one is ph theory and the cell wall theory so ph theory understand the ph theory so in gram there are two cells let us draw the this is the gram positive and this is the gram negative here it is gram positive and gram negative so in gram positive the cytoplasm is more acidic okay compared to gram negative more acidic so crystal violet violet is a basic dye basic dye okay now it will go inside the cytoplasm and as a acidic nature more acidic so the retain occurs for longer time okay so as a result it will look like in violet it will look violet this is the ph theory now come to the cell wall theory so cell wall theory here you can see gram positive bacteria and here you can see gram negative bacteria so in gram positive bacteria peptidoglycan layer is thick and here peptidoglycan layer is thin so thin peptidoglycan layer in gram negative bacteria outflow of crystal violet easily occurs here because the peptidoglycan layer is thick the uh, what crystal violet will escapes outflow is easily but here due to th thick peptidoglycan layer outflow is not easy now second one is lps layer okay like polysaccharide layer here you can see the lps present okay so lps layer disrupted easily by the action of acetone or alcohol thus allowing stain to come out of the cytoplasm so acetone or alcohol disrupt this lps so same again the violet the will come out from the cytoplasm okay so now the diiodine complex so <clears throat> due to uh, gram negative cell wall more lipid content is there so after adding the decolorization lipid gets dissolved formation of pores and through which the diiodine complex escapes so here you can see so more lipid so after getting uh, in putting the decolorizer here you can see the pores will be formed like this pores are getting formed formed so from these pores the stain will come out okay but in case of uh, gram positive bacteria due to less lipid in gram positive bacterial cell wall less pore is formed so less diiodine complex escapes so guys that's it for the mechanism of gram staining so if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel